I'm just happy that Larry got appointed to be a guardian of Danny Lynn's estate. And like I said, uh, back when we were in Florida and also in the Bahamas, I'm going to help uh, Larry in any way that I can because what's important to me is that Danny Lynn has the best life that she possibly can have. And obviously, uh, you know, it's difficult for her because uh, she lost her mother. And no matter how uh, good of a father Larry is going to be, and I believe he will be a good one, uh, she still has uh, some things that, uh, you know, it's going to be difficult for. Had my first Father's Day, so, um, and Danielin's getting big, and um, she's doing all the things that the kids do her age, playing and laughing and having fun and bonding and spending time with friends and family, and and we're doing just we're great, and um, everybody's been supportive and helpful, Howard included, and um, all the attorneys, and I have one more title today other than father, I'm guardian, so um, it's a good day, I guess. So. Both Howard and Larry are committed to uh, this administration running for the best interest and only in the interest of Danny Lynn, who we believe the court will find later and we intend to file a petition to interpret the will. But we believe that Danny Lynn is in fact the sole beneficiary of Anna's will and will be then therefore the sole beneficiary of the trust that we will ask the court to establish upon the next hearing. Excuse me, lead the way. Go. Keep it open. Hands out. Let's go. Five, three. I, I'm not happy with anybody who's just going off and trying to make money off of Andy Cole like that. And I know I've been accused of it, and it, the accusations are completely false, but I don't like that, you know, within days of her death, people are planning a movie, and it's not, it's not based on the truth, it's just based on trying to make money.